Yeah, I'll react to that, sure. Hi guys. Well hey guys, I love castle videos. They're the amazing. Episodes. Windsor Castle Tour, preemptive like, uh, subscribed, ultimate bucket list, the Queen's Royal Residence. Let's learn, shall we? What bucket list? And on today's show, I'm here in Windsor Castle. <laughs> oh my god. Queen Do I need I say anything? Fantastic grass. Weekend residents. Oh my god. A lot of people will know that the Queen lives in Buckingham Palace in the centre of London. But she doesn't consider that her home. Buckingham Palace is officially her office, and she considers Windsor Castle, which is 23 miles west of London, her actual home. This is where she grew up, and this is where she prefers to spend her weekends. It's one of the most amazing castles you'll come across here in England. And lots of important things have happened here. Most recently, the wedding between Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Yeah. Most of the time, the Queen isn't in residence here, and you're free to pay for a tour of the place. My day starts here at Windsor and Eton Central train station, aka the Royal train station. And you can immediately tell that it's that because, well, the Royal Train's on display, but also there are various signs that tell you so. Windsor Castle is pretty easy to find. You exit the train station Beautiful. and whoop, there it is. It's a massive, imposing castle. The camera angle really doesn't do it justice here. It is massive. With it being a royal residence, not only is it guarded by these guys, it's also guarded by these guys. So no misbehaving whilst you're here. The front of the castle has some excellent photo opportunities. And to go into the castle itself, you'll need to go into the visitor's entrance right here on the corner. Even if you book in advance, the queue to get in is literally a mile long. Even though the members of staff here are very likeable and very friendly, sometimes you'll come across complete tools who also want to see the castle. You're ushered no. around the corner where you'll be security checked, airport style, before being allowed to enter the castle. And as soon as you walk in, you'll realize how big this place actually is. There's plenty of photo opportunities everywhere because this is one of the nicest castles that you could visit here in England. The castle's the world. history dates back almost a thousand years, so there's plenty of history at every turn. Before you enter anywhere though, I highly recommend that you pick up an audio guide here on the left. It's available in many languages. Imagine living in a thousand year old castle that's beautiful and also doubles as a museum. Freaking lucky. When you get to a specific station, press on the button and it'll tell you all about it. And yes, this is actually how you enter Windsor Castle. It's pretty damn amazing. So pay attention to the audio guide because you actually learn a lot about the castle and ooh, look at these guys. They're actually on patrol today. Usually, they do on the, the changing of the guard ceremony at 11 o'clock most days. But because of COVID-19, unfortunately, they've stopped doing that. The biggest tower here at Windsor Castle is the Round Tower. Unfortunately, Brick because of COVID, awesome. they're not running any tours up there. But hopefully, when you come round, this place will actually be open. Instead, have a walk around one of the Queen's gardens. It's actually quite pleasant to know that Queen Elizabeth enjoys walking around in her garden. Once you've walked around the Round Tower, you've got two options. You can either turn left to go into St. George's Chapel, or right to go into the State Apartments. I decided to go left and visit St. George's Chapel. This is the on-site church. As you so is this all, all that we're seeing here surrounded by those big walls stone walls like the, the entire the entire circumference for ceremonies and was the venue for prince harry and see see d does this d uh, uh. is the on-site church that's used for ceremonies and was the do these do these go all around all the way around and you for Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's wedding. So if you're a big fan of royals and royal weddings, this is quite a nice place to go. The courtyard itself, as you can imagine from being a royal resident, actually very nice and boy, there's a lot of planes flying overhead today. 
I recommend spending some time Gvard? in the courtyard because you'll see the Queen's Gvard. Guards on display. Gavard, I'm so dumb. Gavard, okay. Forget it. And spending some time in the courtyard because you'll see the Queen's Guards on display. Contrary to popular cat. belief, they are allowed to move, and if you do bother them, they will retaliate. So don't be a typical tourist and try and bother them. They're there to do a job. What? It's a person. It's a, a how removed you have to. Those are the thing. Just be respectful. Having said that, this isn't a bad view to stare at all day. Up the ramp you I'm go. sorry, but those videos of people trying to annoy these guys and be like, "Look, look at, I these are those guys in that movie I saw that." It's like you think it's. I'm not. I'm gonna get too mad. Never mind. And into St. George's Chapel. As soon as oh you walk through the doors, you'll step into one of the nicest churches that you'll have ever seen. I mean, check out the detail in the ceiling. How do you do that? How do you freaking do that? A thousand years or whatever uh, before cranes. But well, before I'm sure maybe they had some pulleys before. You know what I mean? The mechanized cranes. Because I've just getting all of these splay, splaying, voice crack, splaying out and then being able to connect to others without looking geometrically off. I mean, there's not a bad view anywhere in the church. It's ornately carved, very gothic style, and the fact that this is frequented by the queen herself is pretty, pretty amazing. Every single the detail glass. here in St. George's Chapel is there for a reason. The coat of arms are there for a reason. And the audio guide does an excellent job in explaining what generally goes on in here. So the nicest part of St. George's Chapel is this, the choir. Where the choir sits and where the ceremonies happen. Is that all wood? It looks like something out of a fairy tale. Most people would have heard of King Henry VIII, one of our most infamous and fattest monarchs. Well, he's buried literally right here, underneath this slab of stone, between both sets of choirs. Yeah. Take your time to wander around St. George's Chapel because it's probably one of the nicer churches. Or Is he really? You do, don't lie to me. It infamous and fattest monarchs. Well, he's buried literally right here. Okay. You're telling me if you lifted this slab up that everyone's kind of walking over this slab, Henry VIII's body will be right there. Or what? His skeleton, I guess. For real? For reals? Underneath this slab of stone between both sets of choirs. Take your time to wander around St. George's Chapel because it's probably one of the nicer churches or cathedrals that you'll have ever seen. Stop. By the way, the red doors here, that's the Queen's personal entrance into the chapel. Once you've finished with St. George's Chapel, it's time to go around the corner and check out the state residences. If you do like your photography... Sorry, I just realized, like, in my head, I'm like, oh, who are you? you sh who are you, the Queen of England? Yes, actually. ...into the chapel. <laughs> Once you've finished with St. George's Chapel, it's time to go around the corner and check out the state residences. If you do like your photography, you'll have no... Oh, rest in peace, obviously. Queen, of Bang uh, Queen Elizabeth. But so now Charles... ...shortage of things to take pictures of here. At the moment, because of COVID, it takes a while to get in. But once you're in, there's interesting details everywhere. The first stop is I just the have very, one very of those. famous long walk. Oh. As you walk around some of the rest of I will mow that lawn for free. Very, very famous Just, long Just walk. like, give me lunch. As you walk around some of the residences, you'll find some very interesting things, like ornately decorated knight's armor, and you go up the stairs towards the Grand Vestibule. This is decorated with famous armor from former monarchs and famous weapons of various knights, which is pretty awesome. Part of the Grand Vestibule houses the statue of Queen Victoria, but it also houses some very interesting artifacts from around the world. So the audio guide tells you pretty much all about it. It's an immense room to start out in. 
This room, that looks like it's currently under construction, because it is, is the Waterloo Chamber. This acts like a de facto dining room for some of the royals, but it's also a meeting room for very important people. Currently. Trying to see if I can see anyone. I can't really make anyone. Voice, my voice is cracking today. The Waterloo Chamber. This acts like a de facto dining room for some of the royals, but it's also a meeting room for very important people. Currently, they're renovating it, but this is what it should look like in general. The next stop is the Garter Throne Room. Windsor Castle is home to the Order of the Garter, the most exalted level of knighthood that you can receive in this country. And if you are awarded the Order of the Garter, it's done Sir? right here, with the Queen sitting in that middle chair there, and you being knighted in front of her. The throne room itself is incredibly impressive, and it would be amazing to be knighted in front of the Queen here. Throughout all of the rooms here at Windsor Castle, you'll notice that no detail and no expense has been spared in making this place look spectacular. It literally is fit for royalty. Next up is my favorite room of the entire castle. This is the state dining room, complete with coats of arms in the ceilings, various knight armors, and this is used as a state dining room to house royals from across the world. I mean, what a fantastic venue that you can have dinner in. Just look at the amount of detail here. It's absolutely incredible. This is easily one of the nicest royal rooms that I've ever been in. And I've been to quite a lot of castles, etc. But Getting nothing jealous. is as nice as this. I've mentioned the Order of the Garter already in this video, and this is it. This is the highest honor that you can be bestowed by the Queen. And I think this is the Queen's actual garter. You also get to visit the Queen's Presence Chamber and the Queen's Guard Chamber, which are equally as impressive. It's time to go back out to the Grand Vestibule, and I recommend that you stick around for about five minutes to examine literally everything including the Queen's personal cutlery. Yes, this is the cutlery that China. she uses to entertain dignitaries. You then exit the building where you'll exit out into the courtyard. Queen's personal courtyard. And yes, it's guarded by the Queen's guard. And yes, for some reason, Jumbo Jets are still flying over it. Oh, th this is where, like, for state visits, when, like, a president goes to visit, this is where they roll in and, and meet the uh, royal... F the King or Queen, right? By the Queen's Guard, and yes, for some reason, Jumbo Jets are still flying over it. Unfortunately, you're not allowed to go into any other parts of the castle. But to be honest, after you've seen all of this, you're absolutely mesmerized by it. Seems all. like enough. Be sure to take a look at the Middle Ward gift shop before you hand back in your audio guide and exit out of the side of the castle. And if you want to check out some of the Queen's Guards again, you definitely can do that. And remember, no trying to make them laugh. Because believe it or not, if they're caught doing so, they get Dr. Week's wages. So please, don't try and bother them. But not everything is old in Windsor. The town itself has modern amenities. It has a modern high street, and they've got modern eateries. And there's no shortage of places where you can buy typical souvenir tack, including this place Mr. with Bean. Mr. Bean in front of it, for some reason. There's other cool things to check out, such as the Theatre Royal, the Guild Hall, and the Long Walk. I mentioned the Long Walk before, is where the royal procession happens and goes directly into Windsor Castle. How far is that? But it's three miles long. Three and most of it what? is in public parkland. I was going to say, like, is that up to like a, almost a mile long? That's three miles? Or does it go further out of view? But it's three miles long. And Longest most driveway of it is ever. in public parkland, which you can actually walk along. So behind me is Windsor Castle, and in front of me is this famous Long Walk. Now, apparently, it's about four kilometers long, which is about three miles. And you can walk to the end of it if you want to. <laughs> Screw that. 
But overall, guys, I, would. I highly recommend a trip to Windsor Castle. Stonework especially looks amazing. Like history, what do I know? Royalty, or you want something fun to explore and a nice day out away from central London. All of the above. Okay, Nid, I'm sold. What do I need to do? Well, you need to come here to Windsor Castle. It's situated in the town of Windsor, and to get here, you can either drive, there's plenty of parking, or take the train directly from London. I had to change the style this morning to get here, but Windsor train station it's actually quite nice to have a look at. The cost to do the tour? Well, it costs about £23, and for that, Worth. you also get this free, cool audio guide, which I highly recommend. What is this, in like 2020? So it's probably like $80 now, inflation. That was, sorry, that wasn't that funny. Anything. And for that, you also get this free I'm cool not audio funny. guide, which I highly recommend. Is there anything else I need to know? Yes. They're very twitchy about photography here at Windsor Castle, so bearing in mind, no photography or videography in certain parts of the castle. And also, no droning here. You're in the direct flight path of Heathrow Airport, and you're at a royal residence that's heavily guarded. So there's no way that you absolutely get away with this. There are some rules where I'm just disappointed that we even need it to be said. So, no droning, guys. But if you have enjoyed this episode, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Comment on the comment section below. Well, and photos. if you've got any other bucket list ideas you want me to check out, tweet them at me. Am I being too grumpy? I'll go ahead and do that. So, guys, thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode. Thank you for making it. It was a great video. Love it. Love you guys. Hope you're all doing well. Would appreciate any comments down below. Again, my name's Connor, guys, and... what? Why am I saying that after the video? Hopefully I'll see you guys next video, all right? Bye, guys.